It is 946 on this Saturday morning. It's time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson is here, the chief scientist down at Imagination Station. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. Yeah. And today you have a lot going on here, a lot set up. What are we doing? Well, on Tuesday, a couple really cool things are happening. Tuesday the 15th, mm -hmm. right? It's the 102nd anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic. Okay. And there's a really kind of weird uh, theory uh, tied to the moon that on that day, mm -hmm. uh, well, actually a few months before that, the moon was at its closest approach to the Earth, okay. and the Earth was at its closest approach to the sun. Those two things, theoretically, could have created larger than normal tides, mm -hmm. loosening more icebergs into the shipping lanes, Whoa. increasing the probability of a collision. Okay. And we don't know if that's true or not. It's a sure. good theory. theory. Okay. Um, what I do know, though, is that if you come to Imagination Station on Tuesday, mm -hmm. and your name is the same as any passenger on the Titanic, you get into the exhibit for free. Which is really cool. We ran that story last week when we first told people, and if you're going, ha, ah, there were so many people on the Titanic, how do I know? You actually have a full link full to everything. Full list on our website. Go check it out. And the spelling doesn't have to be exact. I did not qualify. Well, I okay. already looked. But that's okay, because you know what? On Tuesday, there's another cool thing happening. Okay. Tuesday morning, if it's clear, mm -hmm. there'll be a full lunar eclipse. Ooh. Okay, now okay. really early in the morning we're talking. About 3 a.m. Okay. Okay, it starts around uh, 2, goes till 3 or 4-ish, so you have to be up early to see it. So I thought we'd talk about what creates a lunar eclipse. Okay, sure. So I've got... None of this is to scale, okay? <laughs> it's just like a model. I've got my sun here, right? All I'm right. turn this that on. the sun. Yep, it's bright. Good job. Um, we have our Earth here and okay. our moon. Sure. Now, a lunar eclipse happens when the Earth gets in between the moon and the sun. Mm -hmm. And actually, because the sun is so big, the Earth casts kind of like two sorts of shadows. All right. Okay, so out here you have the moon fully lit up, moving into the, mm -hmm. the lighter part there called the penumbra. Okay. And then the umbra, where you get the full eclipse right there, right. and then further back out. Okay, so when the moon gets right here, and the mm -hmm. eclipse on Tuesday will be a full lunar eclipse, okay. um, it's going to look really red. Oh, okay. A lot of people will call it the blood moon. Mm -hmm. You may have heard that term. Yes. And if you can imagine being on the moon as you move behind the Earth's shadow right there, looking at the Earth, mm -hmm. you would see a ring of fire. Oh, wow. You'd be watching every sunset and sunrise happening at the same time. Wow. And so all that red light is going to hit the moon and reflect back to us. Cool. But it doesn't answer the question, why is the sunset red? Right. Okay. So that's why I have this tank of water here. Okay. And this is something cool you could do at home with a glass of water or an aquarium, sure. whatever. Okay. The sky looks blue outside right now because as sunlight comes through our atmosphere, it gets scattered. The blue light gets scattered. Mm -hmm. So the whole canopy of the sky looks blue. Okay, as the sun begins to set, the uh, light has to travel through a much thicker portion of the atmosphere. Mm, that's why we get the pretty colors, right? Well, the blue light scatters mm -hmm. out, leaving behind only the red, oranges, and yellows sure. of okay. sorts. And you can model that at home. So I have a little bit of milk here. Why don't okay. you go ahead and squirt some of that into our water. We all have water. milk, all right. And what's gonna happen here is the fat, just squirt the whole thing in. Not only is it cool when you squirt it in like that to watch how it <laughs> disperses, yeah. but what's going to happen here is if we mix this up, those fat globules are going to, if we rotate our sun here, now if you're looking through the water from the other side, mm -hmm. you would begin to see, add another squirt of some milk in here, got okay. a fresh one for you. You're going to start to see that the filament, the little hot metal wire inside the bulb, is going to start to turn an orangish color as we scatter more and more oh, of you're the... Oh, star I'm starting to even see it a little bit from this side, from what they're seeing on the other. Okay. Yeah. And so, you can try it at home with a flashlight, with a light bulb. If you look, if we look straight down, the water looks kind of bluish, because mm -hmm. it's scattering that blue light. But the light that's transmitted through, just like our atmosphere, is going to turn a reddish color. Hmm. So this is happening on a grand scale all the time, essentially. Every day. And, you know, if there's a volcano that erupts or mm -hmm. if there's smog in the air, a lot of that can scatter more of the light and make the colors even more dramatic. Hmm. But cool thing you do in a classroom or at home with just a little bit of milk, a container, and uh, a flashlight. Cool. So why the sky is, uh, sunset is red, that's why the moon during the eclipse is going to mm -hmm. look reddish. And if the weather doesn't participate with us on Tuesday, it's okay because there are going to be four lunar eclipses over the next 18 months. Wow. They're all full all visible in the United States. Awesome. So, well, hey, that's a good way to, you know, learn a little something about it, all you science teachers. Hope you were listening up for yeah. that one. That'll be a good one on Tuesday. Well, Carl Nelson, thanks so much for coming in. A reminder, clearly, Tuesday, a big day for you guys. You can get Definitely. in free admission to the Titanic exhibit if you have the same name as a passenger. Spelling is a little open to We're interpretation. Open to, yes. All right, there you go. You can find the full list on the Imagination Station's website. And also, just a reminder, the Artifact Exhibition is still going on daily, so you can go down there and explore, take a trip back in time. Absolutely. Awesome, Carl. Thanks so much for coming in. That's this week's Imagine It. From there, let's go over to Joe. He has an update on sports.